Welcome. This session is a short introduction to developing questions for critically appraised topics. Evidence is always growing and changing. It is almost always impossible to stay on top of the research that's coming out and read everything that is being published. CATs, or critically appraised topics, are a good way to approach answering clinical questions relevant to your patient care and clinical practice, as a CAT can help identify the best relevant evidence on your topic. The CAT process is a series of steps to find an answer on your clinical question. Today, we are looking at the first step, how to ask a specific clinical question. When searching for evidence, the type of clinical question helps determine the study time or the evidence you are looking for. For example, in a question of the effectiveness of interventions, you would look for study types that provide the highest level of evidence. In this case, you might look for a systematic review or a meta-analysis or even a randomized controlled trial. Depending on the question, you would start looking for secondary studies syntheses of primary studies. As this is not always available, you would look for the next highest level evidence study, such as a randomized controlled trial, a primary study. Let's look at an actual example. Here's the scenario. Patient falls are frequently occurring incidents in your adult inpatient rehabilitation hospital setting. You learn there are different categories of falls occurring with varying severity and patterns of occurrence. You understand there are multiple interventions to prevent falls, but your team are uncertain which is the best intervention for your context. So, how to turn this into an answerable clinical question? This is where the PICO mnemonic can be really useful. So, PICO is short for population or problem intervention, comparator or control, and outcome. So using our scenario and putting it into a PICO format, our population becomes adult inpatients at risk of falls, with the intervention being falls prevention interventions, the comparison is no falls prevention interventions, and the outcomes are reduced falls. So turning that into a question, what are the most effective interventions for reducing falls in the adults aged 18 years and over in the inpatient subacute rehabilitation hospital setting? So from here, we will um, look at the PICO and see how it can help us put together our search topics. So the PICO itself provides a, a series of concepts for the search. And the, it also helps us provide the evidence that we might use. So here we can see the search concepts. So we do have various synonyms for falls, for inpatients, and the interventions are sort of broadly stated. Most importantly, we might want to think about the evidence. This topic is very broad and it may have multiple interventions. So it would be useful to look for studies that would be able to answer this question. If we could get, say, an umbrella review, which is a systematic review of systematic reviews, or maybe some appropriate systematic reviews would be a good place to start. Here's another example. So again, we're starting from a scenario. In patients undergoing cataract surgery, up to a third may present with corneal astigmatism greater than one diopter. These may require astigmatism correcting glasses after surgery. Toric or non toric lenses may be implanted during surgery to improve visual acuity. Toric lenses are more expensive and may not always be available. What is the evidence about whether toric lenses are more effective and cost effective? So let's look at turning this into an answerable clinical question. And again, we can look at our PICO. Here it's much more defined. The population are adults with age related cataracts, 1.5 diopters having surgery to replace the natural lens, the intervention, a toric or a premium lens, and the comparison is non-toric, so the other types of lenses, and the outcomes are visual acuity for patients and cost for the health system. So the question becomes, does the use of toric lenses reduce the need for astigmatism correcting glasses 
and provide a cost-effective option compared to non-toric lenses in adults with age-related cataracts with 1.5 diopters having surgery to replace the natural lens in public hospitals. So the search concepts break down again from our PICO and you can see that our population have astigmatism and cataracts. We're looking at the lenses, the toric or non-toric lenses. And when we look at the evidence, we're looking at systematic review, meta-analyses, randomized control trials, and health economic studies. So putting all this together, if we use a database like PubMed, you can see how our terms will lead us into a search. So searching should always be based off the question and the PICO topics. When you are searching, consider limiting to a higher level of evidence. Most databases will allow um, you to check a box to limit to say systematic reviews or randomized controlled trials or whatever study type that would be appropriate. Consider date limits as older evidence may be less relevant. Consider whether the evidence is from a similar healthcare system, e.g. so, if it's from the United States, it may be quite different to Australia. So maybe it, it's not as relevant. And think about focusing on resources or databases that are focused on high level evidence, such as the Cochrane Library, Pedro, and there are others as well. There are a series of resources which you might find useful. These are more broadly on working with developing cats. So there is the, so there is the cat maker, which helps you um, develop the cat. There is CASP, which is a series of checklists to interrogate the evidence that you've found. And Cat Bank is a place to store them. This also, can also be useful to look at other cats that have been generated. And here are a couple of cats that have actually been published. Lastly, I'd like to say that the library is happy to help. Um, please contact us and here's some information about um, membership of the library service. Please consider joining and thank you.